You're running for your life down a narrow pathway with the horned beasts closing in. The man on your left is gored to death by a 1,500 pound monster. On your right, there's a pile of runners desperately trying to get away. Your adrenaline is pumping. Will you make it to the finish line? Will you live another day? I'm talking about the running of bulls prevalent in Spain, especially Pamplona, Spain. The bull run is an event every year from July 7th to 14th where people real willingly run alongside bulls in a thrilling dash in a narrow pathway risking their lives. Several things you should know about the bull run are its past, the danger and attraction to it, and what it has become today. Let me first go and to talk about how this originated. The first thing you need to know is that in the 13th century, bulls needed a way to be brought to the bullfighting rings. So what they would have people do is run behind them. There was also another thing that was coupled with this. What happened was there was the festival for St. Fermin in Spain. And this festival was originally a somber religious tradition held uh, late in the year. And what they decided to do was take this bull running event and mix it with the traditions, which in 1592 has happened ever since. It, it, every, uh, every July, for every July 7th through 14th. Um, for how this came to be, in an article regarding the history of Spain published in 2011, Damien Corrigan stated, as the original somber religious festival took on a more frivolous overtones, the celebration was moved to July for more reliable weather. I'm now gonna move into the danger and attraction regarding the event. There are actually surprisingly few deaths for people that go to the event. Only 15 deaths in Spain over the past 100 years have been from the bulls. A couple ways that people can die, most commonly, is goring, uh, uh, being hit by the bull's horns. There's also problems related to when people trip and fall and there's a pile up of runners in a narrow pathway. Surprisingly, the most common cause of death is not from the bulls, it's from alcohol consumption at the event because people drink a lot there. Surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, Americans are the most likely to get injured and die at these events for some reason, more so than the foreigner, or more so than the natives. Um, to give an example of this, according to an article written this year in Time Magazine by author Randy James, he says, Observers of the event say foreigners, especially Americans for some reason, are the most likely to get injured. I, th this is an example of someone getting injured, and I actually, I went online and I saw these videos of what happened. Often, the reason people get really injured by the bulls is because they, they ag on this bull, they're getting gored by them into the ground, and their friends don't even want to come help them because they're so afraid of the bull, and I try to push it a little bit or something, but often it's not enough to stop it. Now I'm going to move into what this has become today. Uh, when I opened up the site, the website, thegreatbullrun.com, I was a little bit horrified at first because all I saw was red liquid everywhere. At first I thought it was blood, but then I realized that it was tomatoes. And what this has to do with is the fact that they're bringing this to the U.S. and they're making it a type of thing that's like a, like a, a mud run, kind of. A, an exciting event where people go to rather than something that's just been in Spain. So it's actually, it's now moving to the U.S. as well. And let me read you what their website states and how this is today. Face the adrenaline rush of a lifetime as you run behind the 1,500 pound bull stampeding down a quarter mile course, then celebrate with thousands of thrill seekers in a massive day-long festival that also features our insane tomato fight, Tomato Royale, which is clearly quite different than how it started. Um, also, in, uh, today, there, are, there is controversy generated with the event. Groups like PETA really don't like this for a couple of reasons. Bonnie Erb states on usnews.com on July 10, 2009, let's hope the Spanish government takes yesterday's tragic death of a runner and the injuries of many others as a signal of that bull running and indeed bullfighting are outdated customs that need to go. They're concerned not only for the people that are getting injured by the bulls, but by the fact that the bulls after the event are killed traditionally. For an example of this, PETA's UK affiliate says that they are violently killed 
after tra after the tradition which is cruel and uh, and should not be continued. In conclusion, the bull run is an interesting and controversial run with roots far in the past. It is bigger than ever today and expanding far beyond its humble origins. It's not something I would ever try, but it's only my job to inform you of what it is, so I won't recommend anything against it. All I'll say is that hopefully no one else is injured in the event. <laughs>